So the Explorers Club was set up in the early 1900s as a society for the world's best explorers and scientists interested in field research. And they've always had these kind of crazy dinners where explorers would trade food that they had found on their different expeditions. They'd have normal food too, but there'd always be an exotics menu of fried termites or polar bear or whale. Or One of the weirdest things so it happened in 1951 when they claimed to have eaten frozen woolly mammoth that was discovered in Alaska. So the specimen uh, is labeled Megatherium, which is one of the reasons it was interesting. Um, that would be a giant ground sloth, which are known from South America. As Matt mentioned, this is supposed to be from Alaska, or it is from Alaska. And so this would be a huge range extension for a giant ground sloth. So we found out, um, after identifying the DNA, that this actually came from a green sea turtle. At the dinner, green sea turtle soup was on the menu, and it was a popular dish during that time. And so the, the guy who actually collected this meat, Wendell Phillips Dodge, was the head of the dinner, and he was kind of a trickster. He was a noted impresario. I mean, his job was to build up publicity for different plays that he was putting on, and he was a press agent for various starlets, and he was an editor at different magazines around New York. And so he built up a bunch of publicity, announcing that there would be this meal of ancient meat and then at the actual dinner, he probably took sea turtle, meant for the soup, and served it to people with a wink and, you know, maybe some air quotes saying that they were eating giant ground sloth or woolly mammoth. I think the problem was that everyone just believed him. He was meaning this as an obvious joke and no one got it. It really didn't seem that weird to be eating woolly mammoth there. And I think the press just took him at their word and ran with it and no one ever realized that it was supposed to be a joke. And it's actually an interesting specimen now too because not only does it have this historical importance solving that mystery, but now it's a good genetic record of a sea turtle right at the kind of the end of when sea turtles were being consumed. So now this is a record that we never would have had of that kind of genetic diversity.